Folks, fell in Nevada. Again, my name is Ian Trottier, and I am here because of Jack Payne. Can we get a round of applause for Jack Payne, please. We're very lucky to have the music of Mr. Mark McKay, and you've probably caught him saying that he came in from Nashville for this event. And Mark, Mark is a big uh, conservative Trump supporter. Uh, he has uh, toured with Ted Nugent. Anyone heard of Ted Nugent? I think, Mark, I think you can answer this question, but my understanding is that you're going to be touring with a guy named Steve Miller. Okay, I've definitely heard of both of those names. So let's hear it for Mark McKay and his band, folks. Awesome. Uh, and I am here because of a guy named Curtis Morton. And Curtis Morton is in the cafe drinking cafe for the Latinos here. Cafe, that means coffee, right, in, in, in Spanish. So um, what I want to do right now, is I want to introduce a guest uh, that has come our way from Stockton, California. And Denise, Denise, are you out there? If you hear your name, Denise, please approach the stage. And Corbett, I'm going to ask you to say a few words later on in the program. Uh, Corbett came from Texas, and his word is, his information is very important. What we're trying to do so that everyone understands here is that out of, out of your time and the money that's raised via Jack Payne, all of that money is going to go directly to Donald Trump, okay? What we're doing is we're not going through the RNC angles. We want the money going directly to Trump. And you folks, look at these big rigs here, these trucks. A lot of you guys obviously are ranchers. This is your equipment. Uh, this is a big showing of what your country means to you. And it's time to take Washington, D.C. back and put it in control of our hands. For the grassroots people in America that are standing up for the country because the globalists, otherwise known as the United Nations, that sits off of Murray Hill in New York City, thanks to the Rockefeller, the globalists have taken control of our country. And we know that because we're in a $34 trillion federal deficit. We do know that, right, folks? Yep. The we have allowed our federal government to go into a $34 trillion deficit. And people that are in bed with them are people like Bill Gates. Everyone knows that, I hope. Okay, certainly I do. Mark knows that. Curtis and Jack know that. And I can get into that a little bit more. But my name is Ian Trottier. That's T-R-O-T-T-I-E-R. So from Stockton, California, because for, personally I know many Californians, and Mark, you're one of them. Denise would probably be the first one to tell you. And she, well, I don't know what she's going to tell you, but California is a... Bear Republic State, Bear Revolt. The whole grain of that state was revolting against a corrupt institution, otherwise known as the neighbor that, uh, to our south, Mexico. California broke away from that union that they had. So at their very root, California, which is a Latin word, at the very root, California is a Lone Star State. And Corbett, you're from Texas. These are Lone Star States. They're their own republics. And that is how this union, otherwise known as the United States of America, that is how that union was organized. Because each state is its own republic, in a sense. So Denise, please approach the stage. And folks, please welcome from Stockton again, Miss Denise Aguilar. It's hot, so I'm going to bring her a water. <laughs> 